Unfortunately, the people of Florida are about to be hit with another hurricane. Unfortunately, Hurricane Milton has strengthened from a Category 3 and potentially tiptoeing into becoming a Category 4 hurricane. And as we all know, Hurricane Helene uh, recently hit Florida as well as some of the other uh, southern states, including North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia. And many people are right now wondering, well, how much more pain do they have to go through? So I just want to pull up this article here. Again, shout out to all the beautiful people watching us live right now and to anyone that's in the affected areas of the hurricane. Please take good care of yourselves as this crisis seems to only be intensifying. So here we go again. So Hurricane Milton has strengthened to a Category 3 and continues to intensify two days before it's due to strike Florida's Gulf Coast. Florida's Gulf Coast. I stuttered there. Sorry about that. Where communities are now are rushing cleanup from catastrophe from Hurricane Helene. Ahead of what could be the state's largest storm exodus in seven years, officials are ramping up evacuation orders, closing the schools, and issuing dire warnings of storm surge and widespread power failures to our viewing audience members in florida please be safe and if there's any people in our audience that have relatives there please help out i think now more than ever um we as citizens are on our own i'm not expecting anything from the biden harris administration to make our lives better and uh, I don't care how the people of Florida are going to be voting. I don't care which districts are red or blue. Uh, it is absolutely deplorable in what's happening to our citizens. But we've seen this before, and it's very clear that our government doesn't have the money to help us out because they'd rather waste it on wars and bailing out Wall Street. Priorities, folks. And if that offends you, I'm so sorry. Deal with the fact that your government doesn't give a damn about you because they don't respect you. Milton boosts uh, top uh, sustained wind speeds of 120 miles per hour, the National Hurricane Center said, at 7 a.m. Monday, when a storm was about 750 miles west-southwest of Tampa, moving 8 miles per hour. Uh, it is expected to reach Category 4 strength by Tuesday. Hey, that's tomorrow. And make landfall by Wednesday. Oh, my goodness, what a wicked Wednesday evening as a destructive and life-threatening Category 3 storm with 120 mile-per-hour winds. Uh, it is due to hit between Cedar Key and Naples, which includes the Tampa area. People of Tampa, please be very safe. Uh, with very low vertical wind shear and incredibly warm sea, sur uh, sea surface temperatures, Milton will be able to gain steady to rapid strength over the next few days. Already, its top sustained wind speed more than doubled from Sunday to Monday morning, far outpacing the definition of rapid intensification and an increase of 35 miles uh, per hour in 24 hours. So, in all of this, did we learn anything from the recent hurricane that hit us? Uh, especially this country. Did anybody learn anything? Did we learn anything at all? Well, before we uh, get started, hey, here, here is a response from Kamala Harris. Here's a response from Kamala Harris. Let's go and play this video. And this has to deal with Hurricane Helene. on the ground before this and continually through today and for the long haul. And I think that what we've seen on the ground here is the best of what we all can do. Taking care of the most responsible now, obviously, there were subtitles there. I will be raising the volume on this when I clip this for the uh, uh, show a little bit later. But, um, hey, they're doing the best that they could. Did you know that before Hurricane Helene hit, Kamala Harris was uh, to appear uh, on Call Her Daddy podcast? Now, look, hey, not hating against any podcasters. Hey, do, do, do your thing. Do your thing. But uh, Kamala, you know, with a podcast that could be just that spicy, maybe, I don't know, maybe you need to be more on the ground and more hands-on and not just be staring at a blank piece of paper. I mean, for Christ's sakes, even Donald Trump showed up in the area. And yes, of course, any politician is going to capitalize on a disaster when their opponents are complete morons like Biden and Kamala. But um. Being on the Call Her Daddy podcast, you know, that was, um, what, what, what are you trying to gain here? 
which, by the way, again, let's let's add a little bit of a, a spice of humor in here because, after all, after all, as we have spoken about this, uh, there is money for wars. And by the way, folks, today is October seventh, one year since the horrific war in uh, and genocide in Gaza got started. But here's what's going to happen. Here, here is how the U.S. government is responding to what happened to Hurricane Helene. And by the way, I guess is what's also how our government's going to respond to Hurricane Milton. Let's play it. Please help us. We are dying. We are without food, water, or shelter, or any electricity. We need your aid. Understood. We're going to send $8 billion worth of aid. Oh, thank you. To Ukraine. Let's do that right away ASAP. Come on. What? No, a hurricane has completely ravaged the people that you represent. Give us that money. Oh, don't worry. We're going to give you money. Every single one of you is getting $750 each. You sent $8 billion to Ukraine. You're going to give us $750? You know what? Okay, we'll take it. How do we get it? Easy. You just go online and apply. And if you pass the application, we'll wire the money right over. Okay, let me get this straight. You want us, people that are trapped in a town with no water, food, resources to spend seven hundred fifty dollars on to go online. I know, I, I know it's, I know it's for comedic effect, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, no, literally, that's 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 what we have to. That that's what the people in Florida, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and everywhere else is. Uh, they have to do go online. You know, there are still reports of many towns, communities, and cities that still don't have internet. And I'm seeing some people in the audience. We got one member of the audience who lives in Florida who's around Orlando. I believe Ginger uh, Peacenick. Um, I'm very sorry uh, of, of the fact that this hurricane is going to be hitting uh, the area where you live at. Uh, please be safe to you and your family and your friends. Uh, and that goes to everyone that's going to be hit by this next hurricane. But no, no, that's that's what our U.S. government wants us wants you to do. So when the power is out, when you have no Internet, no heat in your house, no way to preserve your food, no way to make yourself uh, protected from the elements, they want you to go online to get that seven hundred fifty dollars. Brilliant. We, we have we have the smartest people guarding our our nation. We have the smartest people leading our nation to a bright and better future. If you ever want to see what a uh, falling empire looks like, he here we go. And if you pass the application, we'll wire the money right over. <sighs> okay, let me get this straight. You want us, people that are trapped in a town with no water, food, resources to spend $750 on, to go online when we have no electricity so we don't have any Wi-Fi to get the $750? I'm black, just like one of you. What does that have to do? You know, uh, President Biden, please do something. <laughs> that was a spot on impression, young man. He's got he's got a career in comedy. We used to be respectable. <laughs> yes. Yes, we used to be. We used to have everything. And now, now, now we have a nation that is abandoning its people. We uh, have a nation that's uh, indifferent to when its own citizens are exposed to the elements. One time, $750. Don't any all spend it in one place if you can get online. But as we have covered on yesterday's show and on previous other programs too, as have everyone else in independent media has spoken about as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. In a three, two, and a one, there have been reports of citizens who do have internet capability who have tried to get that $750 and were denied it. So in other words, they're dangling the carrot right in front of you. Here it is. Be sure to do it. I'm willing to bet that uh, the only people who are probably going to get that delicious $750 are those that will be more than happy to fall in line and vote for Kamala. You know... Just returning back to this here real quick to the Call Her Daddy podcast. You showed up on a podcast as a hurricane hit the nation. All right, now it's set to be released. And, you know, hey, listen, listen, uh, the Call Her Daddy podcast. They talk a lot about spicy content here and there. But um, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good on your part, Kamala. 
and the way this administration responded to Hurricane Helene. Let's have democracy in the chat. On Wednesday, Hurricane Milton is set to make landfall landfall in uh, Florida. Um, tomorrow, it is set to become a Category 4 and then hit mainland Florida. How do you think our government's going to respond? Type 1 for a kit. They're going to respond with honor and integrity and protect the people and make sure that the people can get back up on their feet. Right now, things are moving slow because there's a crisis right now. But you have to have faith in Biden and Kamala. Shame on you. The type two, man. They, they, they really want us to live in mud huts, don't they? And the answer is yes, they do. They do. And there are so many podcasters and people within the left and the liberal sphere that are really going to bat for Kamala and Biden. It really says a lot about their inability to really see the bigger picture. And that is, oh, orange man bad. You know, I don't know how this election will play out, but something tells me, and maybe maybe I'm being, maybe I'm overreaching, maybe I'm wrong here, but I want to play this video in regards towards how votes could disappear. Of course, it's from Fox News, but listen, do we have election integrity in the country? I'll let you decide. The answer is no. We've been documenting that since Monday night, and I got a lot of blowback saying, oh, you're politicizing it. No, no, I was hearing from people who went to school with me who are there. So that's what I was hearing. And, and these are not political people. I don't even think they like Trump, by the way. Um, but uh, going back to this voting issue, because I think this is very important. Obviously, loss of life, the, the worst. I mean, it could be the worst hurricane we've ever had in this country. But uh, Hurricane Milton is, uh, is, is walking around uh, saying, hey. Wait till you get a load of me. But those votes, those 40,000 votes, th there has to be court action to ensure that those people who are mostly Republican voters get their votes counted, Mr. Speaker. You, why this is so important, 20,000 votes determined who won with Wisconsin. And if President Trump doesn't win North Carolina, he can't win the presidency. Right. So why aren't we ensuring that these votes? Did the ballot still there? Do they make sure they're able to mail them in? This really comes down to three major states, Pennsylvania, Georgia, and North Carolina. And you look at the tragedy that happened in North Carolina and Georgia. We need to make sure that they have the ability to vote, that those votes are counted and those votes are protected. Now, are we going to make sure that those votes are protected? No. I Listen, I did a video way back in 2020, and I had to deal with Illinois election integrity. And for this segment, I will be posting a link to that video. It will be pinned in the comment section so all of you can see it. Because nothing has changed in the last four years. Will those votes still remain? Will those votes still remain present? Because, you know... <clears throat> If I was a suspicious person, if I didn't know any better, it almost looks like as if this is a way to control voter turnout on election night, which is on November 5th. Now, I think it's very important for anyone, no matter where you stand politically, to make sure that every vote is counted for. But it's going to be very fascinating in regards to how maybe North Carolina and South Carolina and Florida and Georgia are going to be represented when the final vote is tallied. Goodness gracious, Cretaceous. It's not like votes would be thrown out into the ocean, would it? It wouldn't be the first time. On Wednesday, Hurricane Milton is going to hit Florida. And there are going to be a lot of good people that are still going to be struggling. You think the government's really going to help us out? The people of Lahaina have some words for you. The people of Flint, Michigan have some words for you. The people of East Palestine, Ohio have some words for you. The answer is no, it won't.